I am going to show you guys something that no one has done before. I am going to mark the STRV, but I'm not gonna camp in the back like everyone does. No, that's hella boring. I am going to be playing it like a heavy tank, completely raw and on the front line. Let the damage fiesta commence. First of all, I rush into this position to get easy side shots on careless enemy tanks that push into the valley. As the IS-7 dies, I need to drop down because they don't have any cover for me on the bridge. <laughs> A new position! <laughs> A new position! <laughs> yep, and I actually discovered some very nice position. Yo, 6 DP. Rest in peace, man. The most important thing to understand when it comes to playing the STRV is that guns about 120mm of caliber overmatch you, so you need to pick accordingly to this. You also gotta go for all those juicy double tracks, because this tank has insane DPM. Before I show you how insanely this battle ends, let's talk about today's sponsor. The past two years I have lived in a long distance relationship which meant that I constantly had to travel between my home country and Germany. Airports and trains all have public Wi-Fi but at the same time third party individuals can exploit our unprotected devices and gain access to sensitive data. Luckily NordVPN has got us all covered. Before you connect to a public internet access you just have to press a single button and boom! Your information and data are well protected. You can choose between thousands of different locations and we finally have a VPN which doesn't bottleneck your connection speed. Hell yeah! Use my link on the screen to get your hands on an exclusive deal and get 4 additional months for free. Talking about connections. Not too long ago, my internet started having connection issues while playing World of Tanks. I discovered that the routing to the World of Tanks servers was highly bottlenecked and I was having massive packet loss and ping spike issues with tanks teleporting everywhere. Luckily NordVPN fixed my problem as it creates an alternative routing to the game server, which means that if you have a similar connectivity issue in the game, I recommend you try out NordVPN and see if it fixes it. Apart from all this, I also use it to be able to watch movies unavailable on Netflix in the EU, so it's definitely a great deal for sure. Don't wait around, go to nordvpn.com slash kaizu and get your hands on that sweet exclusive deal with 4 months extra along with a 30 day money back guarantee. No! So yeah, this video is going to be full of high octane situations like this one, so I want you to watch until the very end. Let's destroy the algorithm together for this video. Enjoy! This battle, I broke my damage record under 5 minutes. How much damage can we do? 8k? 9k? 10k? I'll let you guys guess. First of all, we have a really good position and we can take the hill very very fast. And if you can take the hill, it's gonna be absolutely insane because they have an e Honda, a mouse and so many other squishy targets that we can all farm from a hull down position. Let's go! You are too aggressive. Oh, almost getting clipped. Now that the rock position is clear, our next step is to advance forwards. Let's count over match me unless they have heat. Oh. Oh, Stevie, you're too aggressive, man. Oh, you get saved by the mouse. <laughs> I think you got jet mouse arrived. <laughs> I does the same mistake again. 
They never learn, do they? They never learn, man. The mouse says him from sure death, and he does the same thing once again, dude. I don't want to take that shot now. You should do 140 or what is it? Can I pick them? Can I, can I pick this guy unspotted? Is it? I cannot do it. Can you not? I mean, I get that the A15 wants to peek here, but he could just peek behind us. I don't know why he just keeps pushing me and the 430U like this. Keep on pushing me, dog. I love it. Well, 7.8k damage in less than 5 minutes. The best thing you can do in the STRV on Berlin is to take the window position. And you will see why in a second. Because this game is gonna be absolutely mind-blowing. If you look carefully, after every shot I am hiding my cupola by moving my gun up. This basically angles my tank so much that the heat cage on the front of the tank effectively covers all my weak spots. The enemy team is playing very aggressively, which means I have to try and bail our team out from the situation by creating some off angles towards the Minotauro and the Conqueror on the left. Look at the minimap, there's no way we're gonna come back from this, right? Well, watch and see. Both the Minotaur and the T95 can overmatch me and I only have half HP left, which means I have to get away and reset this fight ASAP. Oh, and look who we found. What just happened? <laughs> Going heavy line paid off, man. Fat, fat payoff, dude. This battle has been absolutely insane. First we go towards the middle to be able to shoot the hill and also the 1-2 line. And since I am fast enough with turbo, I can also spot the crossing tanks and wreak havoc on this T-34. I Do 
those there. Oh wow, it's already up on the head of the Leo. We got good early game damage, man. I'm not complaining. 1.1k damage in the first minute, really good. I could maybe blind this Leo, dude. I think he's very aggressive there. Oh yeah, we hit him once. We definitely hit him once. He's playing quite aggressive, which means there's a guy behind him. Which means I can still blind the, the bushes there. Oh man, we f ganged on that guy. He's back. One more. <laughs> Cannot see any of these guys here. Liv is not picking either. We just need to be patient, really. It was also if the Leo dies, man, we get this in the bag, I think. Oh, I need to help for this light thing. Oh, if he's gonna survive that, it's gonna be really bad for us. Okay, lights, lights are gone, which means that the game is gonna be a little slower. Never speaking now, very aggressive. Didn't spot me for that. That's crazy, bro. Now he did. I wanna, I wanna see if I can stay here and maybe spot something rotating or. Do that. Goodbye. That Liu had no view range. This guy probably spotted me with you this now. He didn't. Okay. But I think going here is probably the best idea. Because from here I can shoot the guys on the hill. Plus I can also shoot, shoot the one to life. I think we're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Right? On track. Nice, 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 nice. This is gonna be a hardcore one to line camp. Now I don't wanna push this, of course. The best position to shoot the entire one to line is from there. So we're gonna go there, we have 8 minutes left. I got spotted while crossing here, which means they have a very aggressive medium tank on the one to line. Wait, I was permed by that guy? No, I wasn't. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna check if I get spotted again. I think they have the WZ there. Let's see. Spot it again. Uh, spot it again. They have they have a guy very very close in the bush line there. The guy goes on the cap. He puts some cap pressure on them. He forces them to rotate. He put double cap on them. Oh. I spot it instantly. I'm risking it though. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice, dude. Triple cap. I wanna see if I can find the 268, man. Probably gonna be there. I love this gun, dude. I asked my teammates to stop capping and I push forward in order to farm some more damage. In the STR, you can only pen other STRVs if they're overlang on the side or in the cupola. So now we need to hit the cupola, but the SU also flanks us and I load HE because I need to kill him with two shots. I'm fast enough to turn around and finish him as well. As mentioned before, another really important thing you want to go for and the STRV does it really well is to go for those tracking shots. If you can get a double track on any guy, you can basically annihilate him because you reload in 5 seconds, which is pretty pretty insane. Also, if you are picking tanks with higher caliber than 120mm, make sure to pick with your heat cage first and try not to expose your hull. This way you can bait some important bounces. I got a mission to do damage, boys. Hell yeah, brother! Jeez. STRV is insane. 9.5k damage, bro. Two more shots and I would have gotten 10k there. In this battle, I'm going to demonstrate what the STRV can do against other Haldon tanks. And this is gonna be awesome. I see that they have a lot of tanks without gun depression on the left side and I make my way towards there to farm them.
I make a really, really bad trade and I overexpose myself, which means that I have to be a little bit more careful about this. I'll say that you, that was too aggressive. I'll try maybe the right side, man, actually. Mm, this is very hard. Because this guy died literally in the way, and now I cannot shoot the... Bad aim. Playing STR we like this is very tedious since you constantly need to be on the lookout for people that can overmatch your armor, but it's so much fun at the same time. So OP, man. So many unlucky shots, though. Wow. Nice focus, man. 6k damage in less than 5 minutes, not bad. Once again, playing Berlin with this tank is so much fun and this battle is going to be absolutely insane. You go into the window position and you aim down the street first to get some juicy double tracks. Of course, art is a problem here. As you can see, the enemy is ultra afraid of this mighty STRV heavy tank, and I actually get spotted here, which means that they are on the left side of the corner there. Since nobody peeked on the top side, I went down to shoot the E100 in the turret. I see that my team is making a push, and I'm also going to go with them. Surrounded. I can't really push the 907 effectively, so I'm just going to go for the AMXM4. Now the enemy team has quite the bunker camp on the other side of the map and we can catch this 907 in the ass for a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> so greedy that 907. Do we wanna push into the- there's a Fosh there. I think I'm gonna flank instead. There's a lot of HP in this battle. I thought we, I thought we won this easy man, but not even close. Oh, the Fosh is AFK. Imagine if I could have just farmed him there, bro, for free. Imagine, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Leo. Okay, this will be dangerous what I'm doing here. Wow, I even angle. And yep, already is focusing me for the whole battle, which is gonna matter so much later on. I catch a glimpse of the gorilla, but I have to move into a better position to be able to shoot him. Oh. 
Since I became pretty much a one shot to the enemy artillery, I have to get away a little bit and try to put some space between me and the enemy team, and possibly work with my own teammates as well on the one two line. As I was asking our artillery to try to counter the enemy GC, the Leo catches me with an insane timing. I am pretty much stuck here and can't really move out. Unfortunately, my team is not really reacting to this push and I'm all alone here. Like, I legit have no idea. I'm gonna die to the arts now, I have 1 HP. At this point, I didn't realize my commander was dead and I also got shot by somebody, but I didn't see him and, well, there you go. Assault maps are ridiculously good for this tank and this aggressive playstyle. I usually come to this side and knock these trees down and after that let the farm commence. Hello there. This tank has so much DPM, by the time they realize you're shooting them, you already shot them twice. This tank is so cruel, man. Like, until the enemy realizes that you shot, you, you're gonna shoot them again, literally. Ooh. There's the STB. And the LT. He didn't spot me for that. That's crazy. Then I'm still unspotted. No, I am. One more? I'm trying to help this light as much as I can. Is that F? F. I need to move now, I think, towards the city. We pretty much cleared out the field, but there's so much more meat left in the city. Obviously. We have to look for alternative ways into the enemy's flank. E3 knows it. E3 knows it, man. Oh. Oh, yes, please. Should have tracked him the first. Wow. Okay, dude. Alright, dude. Whoa! That is not allowed. That is not allowed, man. Ah, oh, you're dead now, anyway. Go for you, free. Hello there. Let me give you a little kiss kiss. <laughs> oh, this thing. This Moravanka battle was very strange, but we managed to get quite nice damage out of it. First, I see they have no scouts, so I can play very aggressively up in this bush. Imagine, dude. No way. No way. <laughs> He's got no kid. Oh my god, this is so broken. Oh my god, that's so disgusting, dude. I have 2k damage. That is so disgusting, man. Oh, now I'm spotted. Ah, that was weird, man. I, I was farming the Ascon, I didn't get spotted. Now I get spotted, though. It was time to wreak havoc on the guys on the zero line, and this tank is perfect for that because you can just reach line peak and be completely hauled on and have insane DPM. HE. Wow, man, really? I got scammed, Chad. I feel scammed, man, after that. You can probably overpick like an idiot here. And not be spotted, man, for a long old time until I shoot. Oh, never mind. What are you gonna do about it, man, huh? You can't pen me, man. How am I, I perma-spotted? Is it this guy? 
I think the Progetto's pla- Dude, dude, the Progetto has to have CVS. There is no other way I'm permat here. After the 257 got killed, it was time for us to push the zero line and go for the STRV. Brother, we shall meet at last. Whoa, you got friends? <laughs> Yo, kill him. If the enemy is camping on the one to line like this, the best way to approach them is just wait on the K-Line until your team spots for you. Now let me ask you a question, is it worth to play the STRV hyper aggressively? I managed to get 4.7k average damage in 80 battles, so definitely. Once you learn which tanks have high caliber guns that can overmatch you and which tanks will just keep bouncing you, it is extremely fun to play but because of the aforementioned reasons also quite tedious. I would like to play some more TDs on this channel, so tell me in the comments which tank destroyer is your favorite and I'll make a video with the most voted tank in the comments. Last time you guys voted for the TVP as well and I'll make a video about it very very soon. You're so safe, dude. Once again, we take a hyper aggressive position on the 1 2 line and let the butchering start. But as always, I have to also be careful about getting overmatched by 120mm plus guns. Taliban. Taliban. Let's track the Taliban. Bug track. Do I, but do, do I reload in time? What? You absolute. Bro. <laughs> Yep, the Caliban managed to hit me while reversing with a full bloom and also set me on fire. Oh, easy farm. <laughs> Baited. And I kill you. It's green! <laughs> it's green, dude! <laughs> what? Oh, big run. Big run, big, big. Oh, please, 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 boom. One more, one mass. As you can see on the minimap, the situation is still quite obscure, but there's so much damage left to farm. Well, we have to be very careful about approaching this. Oh, the big fat T103 guys. Sick dog. Actually, my spot. Damn this. Oh man. Is he gonna attempt it? <laughs> the waffle might push me here, so I have to be careful. Oh, come on. We have so much HP, dude. I mean, sorry, the AMX has so much HP. How do we break this, man? We only have camping TDs. We need to go for the AM4. I lost all this HP. After we have completely cleared this side out, we finally had a way into their base. Man, 9 kills. Another ace tanker. 